All right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm here with Hervé, and we're standing in front of a pretty unique machine with a cool demo. How you doing today, Hervé? Yeah, good. How are you, Eric, today? Not too bad, man, living the dream. So why don't you tell us a bit about what you're cutting here? Sure, so we are doing a spinal implants made out of uh, pig material. Okay, so uh, what, is this a, something that needs to be done on a machine like this? Yes, so the advantage is that we can make the parts complete in one cycle, burr free, on the same platform. Fantastic, and uh, it's it's a peak material, right? A component for med tech, a medical equipment provider. Yes, exactly. It is a it is a medical plastic, basically. Fantastic. So yeah. obviously, to me, this is a pretty wild machine, right? Because when we were first talking about it, you're like, oh, it's a sub spindle machine, and I'm like, really? I don't see a sub spindle. So could you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, right. So our sub spindle is moving vertically. So this way, we can really have like a compact machine and have a better uh, footprint. Mm -hmm. So you have that 45 degree compound angle on your sub spindle, so it can swing around and tuck out of the way and make room for your upper turret, hey? And that's what allows you to have that smaller footprint? Yes, this is correct, yeah. Really, the, I think the footprint is more and more important as the real estate is more expensive. For sure. And then looking at it, I mean, this thing's buzzing around. Is this, how fa it's moving so fast. Is this ball screw? Is it linear drive? So we have the latest generation of linear drives from Fanuc. Mm -hmm. So this is all linear drive, so it's very fast. We have a 30,000 RPM spindle as well. Sweet. And uh, there's a beautiful tool changer over here. Uh, is there configurations you can do with the number of carousels? Is that modular? Can you stack it? It is actually modular. Uh, here we have uh, 60 tools as a standard and we can go up to 90 tools. Okay, so it's just 30 tool carousels and then you just stack them on top, 30 to 90. Yes, exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So I, as I understand too, this is the a new iteration of an existing machine line. What differences is there from the previous? Sure, so from the older S191 and the newer uh, Neo, mm -hmm. so we have basically the latest generation of final linear drive, so we have a faster acceleration, faster deceleration, we have made a big improvement on the tool changer. So we can say by fact that we can save 10% on the same parts on the newer generation. Nice, faster linear drives, faster tool changing, really cutting the cycle time. Exactly, yeah. Fantastic. And then with your control, I noticed here as you were kind of showing me around, you have this new Fanuc control. It has your overlay on it, but it also, you grandfathered in the previous look of a Fanuc, correct? Yes, exactly. So we have the new Fanuc generation and we have remade our own um, tooling management, which is very user-friendly, very intuitive, uh, very easy to manage uh, tool life and a production. So that's fantastic. They can, they can get the, the 90 tool changer, 90 PAL configuration, um, and then set up the tool management to support that and to run lights out. Yes, yeah, exactly. The goal is to have a machine. It looks sophisticated, but it's really, uh, easy to use and easy to manage the production and easy to have the parts done in one cycle. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks yeah. for taking the time no and telling me about you, the new machine. Yeah, thank you.